typical course over mountainous terrain where, in, in stereotypical terms, is where the mountain meets the skies. Scree, shale, uh, kind of scrambling up, scrambling down. So it's a, it's a full mountaineering experience. It's not just about running flat out. It's about choosing your line and picking your way carefully through the terrain. From the kind of the start of the course at the Ambleside University, you've got a monster of a climb going right up to Fairfield and then down to Grisdale Tarn, or going over Summit and Helvellyn and then doing the same. It takes you down, swirling up, striding. to Katakan uh, and then all the way down back down to the bottom and then right up and over uh, Striding Edge. dropped down on quite a severe ridge line and threw a crag and used some ropes attached to the rock so we've actually put fixed lines in so people can hand over hand down the ropes very similar to what they do in Europe with the Via Ferrata so we brought that element into it as well across Grisdale and then up to Pinnacle Ridge. It's, a, it's tough, toughness after toughness and it doesn't really stop. Pretty full on, full on first half of the of the race, really. Grade two, three scrambles. So um, you know, there's some. You know, if you do put your foot in the wrong place, you're you're going to come unstuck pretty quickly. Basically, just get the foot on that climb up to Pinnacle Ridge, got into the actual ridge bit itself. Really beautiful. Probably highlight of my day. Just kind of scrambling up that. Just a shame it wasn't longer. Pinnacle Ridge was amazing, but coming up to St. Sunday is kind of a beast. Yeah. <laughs> You cross over at Patterdale, you've got possibly slightly more trail orientated terrain for quite a fair bit of it. And then when you come towards that high street area, there's another big drop and another big up. And then by the time you've moved across to Red Screes, you've done another series of big ups and downs before the final ascent up to Red Screes and a speed descent into town. So it's not quite over. It's a gentle climb out of Patterdale, which kind of gives you a little bit of time to recuperate before seeing another three big ascents and descents. So no, it's definitely not over yet by that stage, but it's, uh, it's kind of a, a warmer upper for a second half, I guess. But it's a real tale of two halves, this course. So they've done all the technical stuff. Um, so a lot of the hard, that hard work is out of the way, and now it's a, it's a real, real race into the finish. Having a split of course where it's a technical and then a less technical side, we've had it said it's a race of two halves, so it's, it's a real beast to start with. And it takes a lot out of it, a lot. Probably almost two thirds of the ascent happens in the first half of the course, and then it unfolds into this easier trail running. It really does suit, and the mountains, yeah, have, have designed themselves like that, or the glaciers have designed the mountains like that. But it adds an extra element because it takes you so much out of your legs in the first half, and if you've got the legs for running in the second half, you can really pass them like The descent of uh, Red Scree down here is quick and fast, so you know, once you hit that top point, you know, you're basically 21 minutes and you're back at the Ambleside.
this is what Skyrim is all about.